My name's Steve Arnold. I'm an associate producer on Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07. I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of our new facial imaging technique that we call Universal Capture, or UCAP for short. The head scan is actually the first part of the Universal Capture process. This is basically where we take a 3D scan of Tiger's face to get his exact proportions into the game. The second step in the process is the markering. About 80 to 90 markers are applied, to basically glued to Tiger's face. Uh, these markers are then recorded by the motion capture cameras as movement in 3D space. And these will drive the head scan to actually get Tiger's face moving. The Universal Capture booth is actually uh, quite a confined space. It's maybe 10 by 10 uh, and is surrounded by about 18 motion capture cameras, uh, three video cameras that are essential to the Universal Capture process, two microphones, and lots and lots of floodlights. So the moves that Tiger is actually performing is based on a script that we wrote after watching hours and hours of reference video. But we wanted to make sure we actually capture the performance as you see it on the course. A lot of these golfers are performing these moves in the heat of the moment. We wanted to make sure that actually came across in game. So we hired a Hollywood director, Robert Luketic, to actually come in and try, and try and draw these performances out of the golfers. And what he brought to the table was a director's knowledge of really getting the golfer to be in the moment as he's in the booth. Yeah, that's it. In that tone. Work on a series of those. No. Let's get it back on track. So in addition to the facial expressions that Tiger's performing, we also wanted him to perform some authentic kind of things golfers say out on the course. To that end, we have two different microphones in the Universal Capture setup to record these. Uh, the audio then goes through a very significant post-processing where we actually make it sound like he's out on a course, out in a wide open space with ambient noise such as birds and the crowd and stuff like that. You'll see on the monitors the uh, motion capture markers as they're recorded by the computers. You can see them in 3D space and how when Tiger blinks, markers move and are recorded. Those markers are then used to actually drive the skeleton which sits beneath the head scan and actually makes his face move in the game. So you'll also see the three universal capture cameras that are essential to the process. These, uh, these cameras are what actually captures Tiger's face. They're captured from three different angles and are then combined to make essentially a moving texture that wraps around the head scan and combines with the motion capture motion to give you that realistic look that you see in game. Let's take a look at UCAP step by step. The first step of the process is capturing the video and motion capture of Tiger in his universal capture booth. The next step in the process is coupling the 3D head scan with the motion capture data. This allows us to take a look at how the motion capture data actually moves the bones in its skeleton. After that, we add the video footage to the motion capture in the 3D head scan to get a first pass look at what Tiger would look like in game. Next, you'll see a cleaned up render where we've actually removed the markers and have actually lit Tiger's face appropriately. Yes! <laughs> and finally, you'll see that move on Tiger's actual body in the game. Yes! Now, here's another example of universal capture step by step. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The universal capture process allows us to create the most true to life looking characters ever seen in a video game. That's what I'm talking about. 